Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our ACC football predictions today, and our next team went 9-4 and four last year and lost a lot of talent on both sides of the ball, but should be able to get back to a bowl game. They are the North Carolina State Wolfpack. The Wolfpack had a great year going 8-4 and four in the regular season last year, but were so close to making it better. They had three narrow losses that could have made a huge difference, getting them to 11 wins uh, and potentially playing in the ACC Championship or trying to get into the college football playoff. They lost to South Carolina in the opener by 7, lost to Clemson by 7, and then lost to Wake Forest late in the year by 6. So they win all of those games that were so close, they could have had an 11-win regular season. Uh, probably would have made the ACC Championship, and who knows what would have happened from there. But nonetheless, they went 9-4 and four, uh, overall, winning their bowl game against Arizona State. So a very solid year for them. They only returned nine starters. They lose Bradley Chubb and some other playmakers on the defensive side of the ball. And I think that's going to be where their weakness is. But their secondary, the defensive backs, are going to be their strengths because that's where all three of those returning starters are. They're all in the defensive back unit, uh, cornerback, safety, so on. And they return Ryan Finley, one of the most accurate passers in the nation, one of the better quarterbacks in the nation, completed 65% of his passes last year. He returns uh, and should put up some more big numbers for the Wolfpack. It should get them back to a bowl game. But let's find out. They start off the season against James Madison. No problem from there. It's always a good, uh, a good uh, idea to start off with a weaker team, see where your team is, uh, kind of figure out what changes do you make to get ready for the more important conference games. Georgia State comes to town, another win there. And they're 2-0 to start off the year. And then a really sneaky game, an under-the-radar game that not a lot of people have circled on their calendars but could turn out to be really good, West Virginia at North Carolina State. This is going to be a great quarterback battle between Will Greer uh, and Ryan Finley, two of the better quarterbacks in the nation, in my opinion. Uh, I'm giving the edge to West Virginia mostly due to their offense. Will Greer, the wide receiving core led by David Seal, the solid offensive line. And also, they have a little bit of a better defense than the Wolfpack do. More returning stars on that side of the ball. Some big-time transfers as well. They didn't play for the Mountaineers, but will be able to make an impact. The Wolfpack just returned three starters. So, it, and while they are in the defensive back unit in the secondary and could give Will Greer, uh, Greer some trouble, I just don't see them winning this game, even though it is at home over the Mountaineers, who could be uh, buying for a Big 12 championship uh, this year. So... I just don't see it there, but this is going to be a sneaky good game, one that you really need to make sure you watch on September 15th. It should be very exciting, and if you like offense, it's certainly going to be the game for you. And then at Marshall, certainly a game that North Carolina State cannot overlook. Marshall is going to be a big-time threat in the Conference USA. will have a very potent offense. Certainly a game they don't need to overlook, and it's on the road, so that even makes it more tricky. Uh, Marshall, of course, wanting to get a big-time win over a Power 5 team, but I'm going to give the win to NC State. I'm going to give it to the Wolfpack. I just think, you know, Finley is going to be too much for the Marshall defense because while Marshall should have a very potent offense that could exploit that NC State defense, the Marshall defense just isn't going to be enough to go up against a Power 5 school. I don't see them winning despite it being at home. And then they come back home to face Virginia back in ACC play. Uh, and Virginia, a team that was solid last year with Kurt Benker, Bronco Mendenhall doing a great job there, getting them to a bowl game, I think, for the first time since 2011. But... I just don't see them coming on the road and beating the Wolfpack. Uh, they lose Ben Kurt this year, so that's obviously a big blow to them. They're going to have a very solid defense, so maybe if they can shut down Ryan Finley. Remember, uh, the Wolfpack also lost their leading rusher, so if they can shut down Finley and take away that passing game, maybe they can come in here and pull off the upset, but I'm not seeing it. I think North Carolina State gets the win at home, and they're 4-1 and one going into Boston College, who is a team that I really like this year. I have them going 8-4, and four, uh, led by Anthony Brown at quarterback, and then most importantly, A.J. Dillon at running back, rushing for over 1,500 yards last year, returns all five of his offensive linemen, and then a defense that's usually fairly strong over Steve Adazio. This game is at North Carolina State, so that always gives someone a benefit with that home field advantage. If you go look at our home field advantage study videos, you can see how big of a factor it really makes, but... This Boston College team is different, and with that type of offense that they have and a weaker North Carolina State defense, I don't see them getting the win at home. I just don't see them pulling off the win over the Eagles here. I'm going to give them a loss. Uh, and like I said, maybe if they can get that defense turned around, maybe if that defense, uh, you know, within the first couple of games, maybe after the West Virginia game can figure out what's wrong and really start uh, to develop and grow some chemistry there, maybe they'll be able to pull off some of these wins here. But I just don't have a lot of faith with only three returning starters there. They might be strong against the pass, maybe not against the rush, though. So that's something to really keep in mind uh, as the Wolfpack head into the 2018 season. A much needed bye coming off a loss, but they have to go and play Clemson right after the bye, and it's on the road. Clemson, a team that has, I think, the best defense in the nation, 
solid offense, solid running back, quarterback, whether it's Trevor Lawrence or Kelly Bryant, uh, solid wide receivers led by Hunter Renfro. This is the team that I think will run the table in the ACC, will not lose once in the regular season. Uh, no exception for NC State. I don't see them going on the road and defeating Clemson, despite it being a very close game last year, a 38-31 uh, victory for the Tigers. And then they go on the road to Syracuse, so the back-to-back road games. That Syracuse team that I actually kind of like this year, a team that I think that Dino Babers could get to a bowl game after going 4-8 and eight last year, very disappointing season. A lot of those returning starters are back on offense, and they have eight on offense, and should have a solid defense as well, six returning starters there. Eric Dungy, I really like at the quarterback position. Remember, they beat Clemson last year at the Carrier Dome. They beat Virginia Tech two years ago at the Carrier Dome. Can they beat NC State again at the Carrier Dome? I do not see that happening. I think NC State gets a much-needed win after back-to-back losses on the road against the Orange. It's going to be close, and if Eric Dungy has a big day because I've seen how he plays, I like the style that he has. Dino Babers, uh, obviously a high-style offense there. If he has a big day, maybe they can pull off the upset. I just don't see it happening. So I'm going to give NC State a much-needed win on the road. And then they're entering November here, and right now they're at five wins. So they just need one more win in their last four games to get back to a bowl game. They start off here against Florida State at home, uh, a team that NC State beat last year on the road. So that was obviously a big-time win for them. Uh, And this year is back at home, Florida State returning the favor, and I don't think NC State's going to get a win here because Florida State's going to be much more experienced. Much experienced offense, DeAndre Francois or James Blackman, but more than likely Francois back, Cam Akers, solid wide receivers, Willie Tagger implementing his system, and then a defense, I think at this point in the season, that only returns four starters is still going to be strong and going to be able to shut some people down. So while I think this game can be close, I just don't see the, uh, the Wolfpack winning at home in this one. I'm going to give them a loss here to the Seminoles, who could surprise some people in the ACC. That Clemson game, I believe, on October 27th is going to be huge. Then Wake Forest, uh, the team that North Carolina State lost to last year, uh, and it was just a devastating loss. They were ranked at the time. Uh, they lost, uh, I think it was by six points. And I believe they fumbled there towards the end around the goal line. That ended up sealing the victory for the Demon Deacons. And that was on the road with a much better Wake Forest team led by John Walford, a quarterback who I really had a lot of respect for, who uh, obviously had a great season last year. This uh, year they're bringing Kendall Hinton at quarterback and return a lot of those starters from offense. Of course, losing their quarterback is a big part. Uh, but I'm going to give the win to the Wolfpack. I like Ryan Finley, and I think this Wolfpack team knows that that game uh, really could have played a huge role where they went bowling, uh, maybe helped them in the uh, ACC standing. So that revenge factor is on their minds. That was such a devastating loss uh, to a good Wake Forest team. But I think they're going to get a big-time win here over the Demon Deacons, and that's going to give them the bowl eligibility. So you've got that out of the way. They've hit six wins. Now they've got two more games left, both on the road, both against solid teams. Start with Louisville, uh, a team that NC State won pretty handily last year, especially with Lamar Jackson. They took care of business at home last year, and that was really a big-time win. They kind of got them on the map, got them into the rankings, uh, showed that they were for real in the ACC. This year, it's on the road at Louisville, solid wide receivers for the Cardinals, a solid quarterback that backed up Lamar Jackson, Jawan Pass, who's going to put up some big numbers this year, but also a weak defense. This game could have a lot of offensive uh, points in this one, could have a lot of points, could have a lot of yards. Uh, and then some key term- turnovers is going to what's going to be the difference in this game. I'm going to give the edge to Louisville uh, just because I think their defense is going to be a tad bit better and home field advantage, so a loss for the Wolfpack there. And then, of course, the rivalry game against the Tar Heels at North Carolina. North Carolina having a horrible year last year, uh, just going 3-9. and nine. No one really saw that one coming, but uh, this year I expect them to really take a uh, – Big leap forward, uh, should get back to a bowl game, Should could potentially compete for Miami for the top spot, but I highly doubt that. Uh, Chaz Surratt at quarterback, who uh, played solid last year, had a solid year last year, but should just get even better coming into this year. They also have eight returning starters on defense. So you add a solid quarterback, home field advantage, and a really good defense against a team that does not have a super good defense. Uh, and then I saw a quarterback in Finley. I just don't see them getting the win on the road, though. So another loss for the Wolfpack here. And that's going to drop them to 6-6 six and six on the year. So obviously, it's a two-game decrease from their 8-4 and four regular season record they had last year. I know that that's not exactly what the Wolfpack are wanting, but it's still a bowl game. It's still respectable. They lost a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Finley is going to really be... Uh, the game changer in a lot of these games for the Wolfpack. And that's going to be that kind of their rock. Their defense should improve over the course of the season, but it's all going to be up to Finley in that offense. How well can he perform? 
Can he get them the wins that they need to get? Maybe they can pull off a win over Boston College. Maybe they can pull off a win over Louisville or North Carolina to get back to an eight-win mark. But right now, it's a tough schedule. It's a tough slate. Maybe they can beat West Virginia at home, catch them a little off guard. But it's a tough slate. I think 6-6 six and six is respectable. And probably what is going to happen for the Wolfpack for the end of the 2018 season. But obviously, still a solid team. And I uh, really have a lot of respect for them. And, and I could definitely see them competing in the ACC Atlantic for maybe that third spot, maybe potentially even the second spot. But right now, 6-6, six and six, just bowl eligible for the Wolfpack. As always, go check us out on Twitter at Gridiron Expert and also on Instagram at The Gridiron Expert, always here on YouTube. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.